Welcome to this 15 minute game and it's a bit late this start. Screwed up something uh, with the recording. So let's see, we, I'm go, going for a Sicilian here. Let's say maybe the Khan variation. No, he's playing B3. Hmm. Yeah, of course, you can do that. After e6, it's especially interesting to play play b3. As um, very often, it's a good idea for black to set up something like d6, e5, like a wall of pawns against the bishop. But okay, after e6, this is not so attractive anymore. Let's see what white is doing now. Okay, d3. Hmm. D3. Didn't really expect that. Um, normally, white plays um, instead of bishop b2 c4 to so that knight c3 is easily available with the pawn on c4. This looks a bit passive. Okay, well maybe it's not so bad. Okay, I can go d5 and um, I'll do that. Question is, what is white doing now? Just 92. Yeah, I thought maybe taking would be interesting. Yeah, the problem here is I'm having some pressure on d5, and um, what is white going to do? You you certainly don't want to play e5 and uh, kill your own bishop here. Okay, king, queen e2. Hmm. Okay. It's probably a good idea. Now playing g3, I guess. Yeah, that was the idea. Hmm, okay, if I'm castling here, let's let's start with that. Bishop g2, I guess. And the question is, is it an idea for me to take on e4 and play bishop to a6? I can even play c4. That's not really leading too much. Okay, I'm completing development. Yeah, and he will probably just castle now. The question is then, uh, what is my plan? I mean, I have a decent enough development, but um, how to set up the pawn structure here. In general, against this bishop on b2, I would like to play d4, closing the diagonal like d4 and e5, in typical King's Indian fashion, where I'm trying to claim that b3, bishop b2 is just uh, not making much sense. Yeah, that's probably true. It's not making much sense in the structure, but b6 and bishop b7, bishop b7 is also pretty useless in this um, type of structure. Hmm, interesting. Also, I'm not sure after d4 if maybe there is e5. No, but I have knight d5, okay. So I'm, I'm doing that, trying to close the position. Both bishops here, this b6, bishop b7, and b3, bishop b2 is both um, not perfect. I can easily imagine that I'm playing e6, e5, and then bishop c8 <laughs> can, be, can be an idea. But okay, let's see what um, White is doing first. Yeah, I wonder maybe Knight E1 uh, could be an idea. Knight E1 at F4 or oh, that one. Very um, similar idea. However, if I go Knight D7 here or Knight E8, Knight E8. Hmm. 
Hmm. And we probably play knight h3, yeah? And then f4. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'd like to go here to have the knight on d6 later. Knight h3 now is pretty much the only sensible move, I guess. And then I'm, I'm playing e5, completing this King's Indian structure. Yeah, f4, this was to be expected. Question is, should I play f6 even, or can I avoid it? I maybe can avoid it, actually. Just play knight d6 first. There is no serious pressure yet on e5, and I can still play f6 if he plays, for example, knight f3 now. Yeah, so just f6, I guess. I, mean, I could think of taking on f4, but that does not look right, really. Let's let's just um, support the center here. Yeah, this probably prepares a further g4. The question is, should I now? Yeah, I guess so. Well, the bishop is really totally useless on b7. The question is, ah, oh, this I completely forgot about. Hmm. Yeah, and that's a somewhat of a mis misstep. To forget about the move. Hmm. Yeah, it's quite obvious that this is a very valid idea. Exchanging the somewhat bad bishop. Okay, it's not um, fatal or anything, but um, I should have uh, considered the move. Okay, um, am I? Going queen d7 first here, connecting rooks. If he goes f5, I have g5 to to block it completely. I could also play pawn g6 here, just covering f5. Okay, this looks like a simple way to play f5 i'm playing g5 technically speaking i have the bad bishop with the pawns on dark squares and white has the good bishop well this is nice for white that he enjoys the um, correct bishop let's say for the pawn structure but me having uh, everything on dark squares is not a big problem really that um, sometimes a misconception that it is always just about the the color of the pawns. It's also a bit of a bit about space advantage, and here black has this substantial space advantage. Where having this, um, let's say, on paper bad bishop is not really a problem. Um, I get in c4 also, so I don't really have a problem with uh, with this piece. It will get active later. Mm, yeah, he's playing this a bit slowly with king g2 and um, bishop c1. I wonder if I should play c4 now right away. Mm, he maybe can take it twice, but it looks like a very bad pawn structure. I'm, I'm going for that making sure I I get this in. If he takes on c4 now, hmm, wonder, yeah, it's more than one interesting way to play. One would be queen to e6, I guess. Yeah, queen e6, attacking the pawn, and if he goes c5, I play queen c4. That's actually quite a nice idea yeah this looks quite good 
even after bishop a3 for it, I can still take on c4 with the knight. A knight on c4 would be a real annoyance, and it's not so easy to um, attack it and um, push it away from c4, and it's just very active, always having knight e3 in mind and um, similar things. Yeah, queen c4, this was my idea. Isn't it a good move? Just attacks the queen. And um, queen c5, of course. If he moves the queen, I can consider where to take, depending on where he's going. Well, he has really no place to go, to be honest. Queen d3, maybe. But uh, well, I just take c5. It's not... Uh, a big deal at all. Nah, I think this is good for black. This double capture on c4 wasn't a good idea. I think black was fine um, anyway because all the queenside play is just really quick Check. here. But um, I don't think that this was any good. Now this is just a great piece on c4. Yeah, ah, interesting. Yeah, I'll just take with the pawn. That's just the best move. He cannot play bishop g5. And, um, well, he can. I take it knight e3 and wins. Yeah, and where are you going with this, really? Hmm. Yeah, knight e6, obviously, but I don't really know what happens if I go, let's say, rook f6. I just cover it, I cover, I just cover it and I'm threatening something like h6 and... Oh, wait, knight e6 is really not doing much, is it? I mean, let's say h6, knight e6, rook f6, rook c7, and rook a to f6. Yeah, well, okay, this is not really threatening much. It's not really threatening much. Hmm, yeah, interesting. Maybe just go rook f6 before I fall even more behind on the clock. The other move that <clears throat> maybe was interesting was rook to b8, which would also hamper his development very seriously. I mean, in this position he might have exactly, exactly this move. Hmm. I wonder, play, wait, 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 is it an idea to play rook to b8, just exchanging this active rook? Maybe. But I, I'd like to start with this first, push the knight back. That, that really looks like a good way to play. Okay, is the rook here on b1 threatening to um, to enter my position on b7? Well, it's not really a threat. Uh, I can I can play um, easily. Okay, maybe maybe rook b5. I mean that is not um, a threat in 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 the pure sense of the word rook b5, but I'd like to get the pawn back easily. However, there is maybe knight f2, d3 here. I would, pl I would like to play rook f8, really, to prevent knight f2. Rook b5 is... I can play a6, 
but I don't like to do that. Okay, I'll do it anyway. I would like to keep the pawn on a7 to have bishop c5, bishop b6, having a stable post for the bishop, but probably yeah, you can't have it all. Okay, just went to b7. Hmm. Maybe intending rook c7, but okay, now I can I can just take it. Yeah, he's in a bit of a, a pinning situation here on the on the king side. Ah, and now I'm actually threatening something. Knight d6 takes on takes on e4. That's a big threat, really. Uh -huh, which is not really addressed. I'm not sure that he could address it, but. Uh, uh, there's also the move d3 now. d3 pawn takes bishop g1, but he can take c4. Okay, well, let's just continue here. This is good anyway, I guess. It's uh, tricky to find a spot for the rook even. I mean, rook c7 looks like, hmm, it could be this kind of trip without any return ticket. Rook c7, bishop b6. Oh, and the, the knight is hanging, of course. Yeah, well, my original idea was knight takes e4, and I think I can I can play that. Or is there any uh, drawback? Rookie one, maybe, maybe rookie one. Hmm, that's a bit of a shame. Knight e4. Rook e1, don't I have anything good after that? Well, no, I can... Okay, I can go to c3, and if he takes on e5, there is this check on f2. Well, that's probably good for black, right? Would be really weird if, if it wasn't. Yeah, rook e1, knight c3, knight e5. Probably knight e5 and then rook f2 check. This um, should be quite good. Or is there another square? No, I guess not. Let's let's just do that. <clears throat> I mean, I'm on four minutes. Yeah, maybe maybe on rook f2 you can just go to f3. It's not. Uh, it's not an instant loss, I guess. But wait, 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 I can take here. If he takes with the rook, this bishop d6, winning the exchange. And uh, I can also start with the check. Okay, I'll, I'll, st I'll take here first. He needs to go rook takes. And then knight g4 maybe. Maybe that's the real the real problem. Well, if I check first, king to h3. Hmm. Nah, I'm not quite sure. Is there really? something I go here first okay three minutes mm, maybe Bishop f4 here yeah like g5 h3 hmm Okay, he's trying to defend actively. Um, rook f2, king h3, rook h2, check. King takes, there is no mate, really. That's a disappointment. If I give the check and then rook g6, wait. And rook g6, of course, is not, not even a, a move. Checking king h3, h5. 
<coughs> Rook takes h5. There's also no win. Okay. <coughs> rook g6, threatening rook f2 maybe. As oh no, bishop f4, I can probably just take. Hmm. I don't see a win here, which is a bit of a shame. Because it really looks like there should be one. Rook g6 has also knight f3, so this is probably useless. If I give the check, there's some way to... I don't see a, I don't see a, a win, unfortunately. I mean, knight d1 to e3 or something. <laughs> I don't, I don't see it. I really don't see a win. <clears throat> I can uh, really. No, the knight now is hanging. And this is no win. Rook h two. King takes. Time warning. Yeah, yeah. Where do I even go with this piece? <laughs> That's weird. Really weird. No, I didn't see. I didn't see a win. I mean, this is quite, quite astonishing in my book because it looks like white is totally on the ropes, but. Sometimes there just isn't a win, even though it, it looks like uh, it looks terrible. Thirty five seconds. Well, that's not good. Completely lock and let the clock run down. <laughs> Yeah, well, okay, if you find the mate, then everything's cool, but I, I didn't. Yeah, very strange also, really. I was uh, pretty confident that there should be something, but I didn't see it, not at all. I mean, uh, there's, there's bishop. Uh, everything's uh, misplaced, but uh, I didn't didn't find find a knockout. I'm trying for g5, g4 here. Or oh, h5. Is this a move? H5. Threatening knight g4 in a way. Yeah, well, g5, g5 looks better. Also threatens a mate. Yeah, there is no mate threat really that that I have. It's just like he's he's tied down in a way. Rook d4, there's rook f3 made in two. <laughs> I can always try. Okay, and now I need to get get the knight into play. Or maybe yeah, this first, this first. That's actually a good move. And here I get to go here. Check. Yeah, I've got eight seconds. Huh? What what nonsense. <laughs> Yeah. I simply didn't didn't find 
didn't find the win, which was certainly there. I'm, I'm very sure about that. Check. Yeah, seven seconds is uh, really too little. The position I'm not not so sure about. I mean, maybe I'm active enough for a draw, but obviously um, impossible to to make the the moves. Yeah, this would be okay, even with the very little increment. I, it's it's so active that. Um, yeah, now I'm I'm even black forfeits on time. I'm even theoretically speaking winning. <laughs> um but okay, I was just I just used up all my time here to find a mate and I didn't find it. So let's see where the computer shows the win. What is winning exactly here? Rook F two check and knight f seven wins, okay. So rook f two check. check and now knight f seven. Yeah, that's not exactly intuitive. Retreating the knight. What is it? What's the idea ex exactly? Hmm. The computer plays knight f7 and then rook d8 to d5. Okay. Yeah, well, that's tricky. That's really tricky to uh, to to see. Maybe I had an even easier win earlier. Bishop b6 here is completely winning. Uh, why exactly? Ah, because I'm I'm just okay. Well, that's very easy actually. Rook c6, rook c6, rook e4, rook c2 picks up the bishop. Yeah, this is just this is total curtains. This this piece doesn't even have a square. I mean, where is the rook going? It is it is trapped uh, like that. Okay, so kind of a howler. This this whole game was of course um, a very stupid play by me. This should be sick. I mean, not the whole game. He was he was completely busted, of course. I mean, this this is just uh, just terribly bad. But um, I just spent far too much time on, on this stuff. I mean, every move is just good for black. It's uh, just a matter of maximizing returns. And here, yeah, here bishop b6 is just totally winning. I just thought that here there should be a win as well. I mean, there probably is with rook f2, knight f7, but this is not very easy to see. And um, what I actually played uh, wasn't clear. Okay, uh, this Check. is also totally winning. Knight f6 is minus 4. Okay. But uh, I must admit that I don't understand why. Why is this minus 4? Let's uh, consider. And what did I play actually? Yeah, I played that. Okay. Yeah, okay, this is also a question of what else. And now g5. g5 is also totally winning. Okay. I played this move. Okay, well, I, 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 saw, Z, I saw this, but um, I wasn't sure what, what exactly my continuation should be after g4, for example. Ah, then knight cd5. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah, I really should stop playing right in the morning. <laughs> it's like totally, totally idiocy. Why did I do rook uh, knight to e8? And here I had I had 50 seconds. Okay, g5 also so completely winning. Okay, here rook c2 wins. I mean, every move seems to win besides what I played. g5 also okay, didn't do that. G5 again is totally winning. G4 and now knight takes G4 is uh, is a win. Why exactly? Ah, because of course, of course, knight G4. Ooh, ah, knight G4. Hmm. Yeah, it's also totally really easy. Check. Look, look at this. 
just to get this back and it's a it's a mating net here i mean this is check check mate not working okay well this, this is also one <laughs> and here it's just equal check check yeah, well, okay, it didn't matter because we have no increment. I mean, with five seconds, I was losing anyway. He could play uh, play any move, basically, and win out time. Here, um, of course, black is also completely winning, but he didn't pay any attention anymore. It wasn't necessary. Um, yeah, I'm just... I'm just um, I'm just not awake. It seems <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't exactly difficult to uh, to win. Many uh, many good uh, opportunities. The easiest probably being. I mean, besides Bishop B6 to play G5. Yeah, I'm not really sure why I discarded that. And I cannot tell really because it's clear that he's not mating me. I have H7 covered, but. I simply, uh, I simply um, uh, didn't see the move. I don't know why. <laughs> well, yeah, that's really. I mean, this. What about this? Yeah. Well, then this one. <sighs> he can check. give this check, but but what exactly now with the rook? I mean, he can go here. But, uh, okay. I, I just have. This king is much much more insecure. Yeah, it's it's the two pieces and pl not playing they never played in this game so <laughs> yeah but okay if you're totally blind it, it does not help all right thanks for watching